Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Friday. Well, today we have an unbagging. So let's get right to it and see what we got. I think I know which one this is from. Let me take a... Uh, and it's a big one. It is a big one for a Friday. Let's get rid of that. Let me look. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this comes from the PVOVP.com website. And let's see what we have. We have two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We'll see what we got. Hopefully it's all in here. Okay, get it all moved over. And the first one is one of the, uh, sorry, classical cross stitch. It has the lotus blossoms and little koi fish. Isn't that cute? And it's an 11 count, 50 by 50. So let's take a look. And I will definitely have to write on the back of these where they all came from. All right, so it comes with a beautiful picture. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. Lots of black. Here we go again. I'm telling you, I'm acquiring all these ones with black. Or it might be even be a 939, I guess we'll find out. Comes with a beautiful booklet. It has 27 colors. Has this lovely um, guide, stitching guide. And I don't believe that the symbols are the same on the cross-stitch canvas as they are on here. So we'll move here, but we will compare. Yeah, put that over there. Comes with a nice instruction sheet. Aren't those lovely? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Shows you how to stitch and all the different stitches and how to do this and that. It's awesome. Especially if you've never stitched before. This is a perfect kit. Now this one is Lotus with the Fish. I paid, or I didn't pay anything. Uh, it was $5.99. Comes with two needles. Look at these beautiful, beautiful colors. I think that's 939 if I'm not mistaken. I will have to look again, but there is a lot of it. But it just has some gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Look at the turquoises and the blues and pinks and orange to offset everything. Complementary colors. Mm. Yeah, that's a dark navy, so that's a good thought. At least it's not 939. I mean... 310. I am having the worst time with numbers today. Okay, let's wrap that up so it doesn't get... And they're all nice and long, so I like that part. Comes with a tool kit, and there are four needles in here. A threader, the boof ball, and a finger thimble. Never use those. I don't know how that'll go. So, let's so open up the canvas. Get it going all in the same direction. Nice, clear canvas. Just beautiful. And the, what do you call it? And the two things. Thought. Brain. This is the key. And it's very nice and big. And it is not the same as what is on the booklet over here. But nice, easy to read canvas. You can see all the symbols really well. But I just thought it was gorgeous. Great big, huge thing. And, yeah. So I think that one's going to be alright. It says 180 by 180. And it, did I say it was an 11 count? So, and it... I'm looking, looking for my... The whole piece should be 60. Maybe 50 by 50. I don't know. Let's look here. It is 19 and a half, which is pretty close to 50. So the actual picture is 16 
which would be 40, so it's a 40 by 40, basically. The actual picture is. It's a lot of that background. Let's see, what is that, number 19? It is 823. I am sorry, stand corrected. No, I thought it was something else. But it's not. But nice, easy to read pattern. Just beautiful. Just absolutely stunning. Okay, so we're going to put this and this, that, all back there. Let's see what's next. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. So I just loved all the beautiful flowers. It is a 36 by 46. Let's see. Roses and hydrangeas. So this one was only $3.99, so it's fair size. Comes in the crinkly plastic. I know, you get a lot of crinkly plastic ones. I'll get it out and get rid of that. Oops, sorry, I'm losing everything. Nope, that goes with that. I believe. <coughs> I could just talk. Here's the beautiful picture. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm telling you, these would make little great little... I'm going to have a, a, a gallery of all these little things. Because they're about framing size. If you framed it, it would be hmm, three and a half by... If you could find one. By, oh, about four and a half. Somewhere in there. But isn't that beautiful? Mm, just stunning. Just stunning. And they sent you a good picture of it. Let's see what's down here. Now, they did send a small chart. And this one, the chart here, the key here on the chart, is going to match the canvas. I know that for a fact. This is DIY. And it also comes with your instruction sheet, which is lovely. We got a 100 of them. But this is the chart. It does need to be blown up. It's not very big. But since everything is the same, it's easier to find on these. I'll give it that much. It just needs to be bigger. And it's that shiny paper stuff. Lovely. Let's look at all these beautiful colors. Just love it. Oh, I forgot to look. There are 30, 35 colors in this. But look at the greens and the pinks and the purples mm. and reds. We got oranges. So there's all your colors. Aren't they beautiful? Just absolutely stunning, nice and soft. Um, the canvas is not stitched around. So they must have used a freight check. I'm just going to lay that here just a second. Let's look at something. On the last one. Now this one, which is the the Lotus, it is stitched all the way around. So I'll let you know. I'll try to lo let you know. Nice big canvas. And what did I say? Does it say down here at the bottom? It's a 36 by 46. So I'm assuming that's the whole thing. Let me get it where it needs to be. Uh, 45 and a half for the whole thing by a uh, little over 36 for the overall. The actual picture is 30 by 30. 39 and a half so it's almost 40 so you lose some centimeters with the outside stuff but it still has a nice it's a full coverage lovely key over here you can actually see everything that's going on and it matches your your pattern here let me show you so you have a check mark yep everything is the same and it does have this little line here, which tells you the thread color that you're kind of looking for. If you're looking for a certain specific 
symbol. So that tells you what color the thread is, basically. Never had to use all that. But yeah, it's nice that they're the same. I do like that part. But nice, clear. There's not too much background. This is your background here. There's two needles right here. It's just lovely. Hmm. It looks like a busy thing, but it looks like they're done in lines, you know, in circles, you know, for the, I almost said strawberries, for the roses and stuff. So it looks fairly easy to stitch. It looks a little confetti, but it, they're in lines and they're in shapes. So that makes it so much easier to stitch. It's not here and there, here and there. So we'll see how that goes. One can never tell, but those colors, luscious, luscious, luscious colors. Hmm. That's why I picked it. It's just beautiful. Outstanding. All right. So let's see what's next. Now this has a terrible picture, and I will insert a picture in the end. This is 174 by 174, and it is the Peacocks. Peacocks with flower 46. And let's see. And this Peacock one, I believe, was $5.99, and it says 46 by 46 in my notes, but one has to take notes. They'll be crinkling for a moment. Hang on. Nope, I had it right the first time. I'm trying. Pull it out and get rid of the crinkle. Thread is in its own nice little bag. Does come with a tool kit with a seam ripper, a threader, a bobbin, and five needles, a poof ball, and a finger thimble. So that's nice. We put that up there. Let's see what's on this side. Comes with a big chart. This is really big. Let's see if I can get it unfolded here for you. Does have the chart and the canvas are the same. Um, same symbols. Everything matches. It even has the color looking right along the side. Just absolutely. It was a gorgeous picture. But look at those peacocks. They are just, mm, the picture is stunning. The picture is just fabulous. That's on the website. It's too bad. I swear. They should get it together. Shall we look at the colors first and get the crinkling over? But I like how it comes in a separate bag. Pull that out and lose that bag. Oh, God, that makes a lot of noise. But you, right off the bat, you have some Hanks. It's got little foozies. And before I go any further, the uh, canvas is surged all the way around, which is nice. Let's look at these colors. Mm, they're all wound up, and they're very nice and long. I love that part. And this one has, are you ready? 34 colors, so not so bad. I can just get it to lay down. We have some dark blues, dark brown, rusts, yellows, purples. And then on this side, let me turn it around. I can get it there. Get everybody going in the right direction today. But you have grays and purples. Look at deep purple. That's my 550. I know it is. I know it by looking at it. It's close. If it ain't, it's close. Number 13. I have to see if I'm right because, you know, it kind of drives me insane. I'm kind of OCD that way. Color 13. It's 550. I told you. I told you. Hang on. Got to move everything up and put everything in a stack or we'll be screwed up later. But yeah, just beautiful colors. Look at the greens. They're kind of a muted color. You do have some brights. And you have some white. And here is some more colors. It's kind of a cocoa. Cocoa 
brown, if you will. And white, it looks like 3865. It's kind of got a blue tinge to it. But yeah, just beautiful colors. And the great big Hanks, of course, of, of 939. See, there's that 939. That other one's got to be 825 on that other one. Or 823, something like that. This one is 413. It's my favorite gray. I like it. It's kind of a charcoal color. Just, just a shade up from real looking charcoal. But just beautiful. Okay, let's look at the canvas on that one. Get them all rolled up and up on the, the heap over here. I always have fun putting all that crap away. Let's take a look at this canvas. This canvas is, if I could get it laid down, beautiful. It does have a few parts that are confetti, I can see. It's not too bad, though. It's 18, which is a little over 45 and a half by, oops, well, diagon it. Hang on to it, Laura Jean. By 45. 45 by 45. And the actual picture itself is, if I could just do this, I wouldn't have to turn it over, right? Holy cow. Some days. So it's 40 by, almost 40, by 39 and a half. So it's about squared, 49, 49. I mean 40 by 40. But it's a nice size. You do have a few big places. Let me see. I can't even tell. I'm trying. Maybe it goes. No. Doesn't go that way. Let me look at I'm trying to figure out where the peacocks are sitting. Where is that stupid picture? Okay, you got one white peacock. And a bunch of flowers underneath so it must go this way you got a peacock sitting this way and a peacock sitting that way so yeah beautiful picture it could probably be bigger but that's okay for me it's just the right size I like this 50 by 50 60 by 60 size 40 by 40 is good too because it's small enough to hold in your lap you know you don't have that excess just lovely just lovely so it does go this way but I can see there's some conf beautiful uh, symbols you can see them they're all nice and clear but yeah just a little bit of confetti here and a little bit down in here and you got your background and then you got where the sky should be ish there's a few things like trees and stuff but your peacocks are right in here so it's beautiful just beautiful. Hard to wait to start that one. I love peacocks. They have so many colors and so diversified. I just absolutely love that. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, this one they called succulents. And it is a 40 by 40. It was only $3. And it's from DIY Cross Stitch. That's the name of the Cross Stitch company I've to learn well if I could just figure out how to oh it's this way crinkling we have a few to take care of because I went crazy and they the prices were wonderful absolutely wonderful just beautiful and that's kind of a pretty picture you know it's not on the little thingy but it's clear you can see it you can see all those beautiful colors. Let's see what's in here. Okay, let's look at those colors. Hmm. I mean, seriously, if that those colors match up, it'll be beautiful. Look at just look, and it, they're all long. Look at that. Look at those bright, vivid, beautiful colors. Hmm. Blues, purples, teals, pinks, shades, purples, shades. And then on this side, you have light turquoise, light green, yellow, salmon colors. Just a wide variety. I just absolutely, I love this. You know, I, it's the little things. It is just 
the little ones. Okay. So let's put that up there so we don't get all confused. Let me look. Hang on. There was... Yep, there's two pages. So there's your pattern. It does need to be um, blown up. And it does have the color of the threads on this side. Your, your color... DMC color number and your your symbol and the symbol number that's on the thing and matching your thread. It's just beautiful. This matches this and I love that part. I do. You know, for a small company that I've never even heard of until I started doing this, you know, that was the best move I've ever seen anybody make. They don't even do that in Joy Sunday. All right, so nice big key. This one isn't very big. It says 40 by 40, which is the entire canvas. It is not surged around the edge, so I'm using, I'm assuming that they're using fray check. The whole canvas is 38, a little over 38 centimeters by a little over 38 this way. The actual picture is 20, about 29 and a half, which is almost 30, and 29 and a half on this. So it's about a 30 by 30. This is a nice size, too. It's not real confetti. It seems to be strung out a little bit. There are 23 colors, so that's not too many. And it does have your beautiful colors. You can figure out which colors which. But yeah, it's just the right size. It is going to be beautiful. I can hardly wait. Mm, an 11 count? Oh, hell yeah. Loving it. Because I'm, I'm an 11 count girl because I'm blind. All right, what is next? We're going to get this one. And this is a Joy Sunday. It's called Welcome the Spring. I know. I was thinking spring when I ordered this. I don't know. Some days when it gets really cold, I just want color. So, that's when I stitch on my color stuff. And I can always find that in these. This is Joy Sunday Welcome Spring. It's 22 by 54. It's kind of long. You have poppies and butterflies and dragonflies and a bee and some mushrooms. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Lovely. Look at all the lovely flowers. I like the mushrooms. I think they're cool looking. And it looks like there's going to be some kind of uh, backstitch in this. Now, like I said, even on Joy Sunday, these do not match the canvas. Just don't. But, nice big key. Shows you where all the backstitching is. Just kind of flash it a little bit. And let's see what's in here. Joy Sunday. It's nice and long. Comes with two needles. Look at these colors. Purples and greens. Let me see if I can do it this way. Purples and greens and blues. A little black. Or near black. Because I don't know. But 30 colors. Here's the other ones. Nice, bright, orange, red, little brick color, yellows and oranges, and a little bit of pale green. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. But I always did like Joy Sunday. Always. You know, I keep getting all these different kits, and yeah, Joy Sunday is still my number one. It, it always has been, but I just haven't deviated from that. But there's going to be some backstitching, folks. Yeehaw. Let's take a look at the canvas. Nice and big. Okay. We'll just run it this way. Sideways. Well, we can do it this way. So it's up and down skinny. It's a partial because you just uh, stitch the printed part. You don't have to stitch the background. And it is a 14 count. But look at all those flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Unlike the bees and the bugs and yeah. Tell me there's... Oh, and even over here... Aunt, did you see that? I was going to say, there's got to be a ladybug. Come on. There's your ladybug. She's hanging out right there on that little leaf. But, you know, if you got bees and dragonflies, 
And butterflies, you gotta have a ladybug. Come on, Joy Sunday. Step it up. Nice, what do you call it? Key here. And this is your key for your your back stitching. But this is really nice and wide. Now it says it is 22 by 54, which will be the whole thing. And turn it over, Laura. Okay, so it's 25 across. Let me see. The actual thing is a 17 and a half ish by 5. Okay, the whole thing. Hang on. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Hang on. The whole picture is 53 and 3 quarters ish. But the actual picture is 46. So, what is that? 18 by 46? 46, 46. Yeah, about 18 by 46. Long and skinny. And the best part about this, you know, it has some detail to it. So, it's going to have some back stitch. You don't have to stitch the background. You just stitch the little things. And it's nice and easy to read. Hmm. Joy Sunday, you did it again. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And it comes in a resealable bag. And they have their instructions there on the back. Got to put down my tape measure. All the instructions, same one that's been in every other one. A nice, clear pattern. Just love it. Even if the, the symbols don't match. These are very easy to read. Except for maybe in the center of the flowers. They're just kind of tiny. And it does have a small, what do you call it, key. But the symbols, you know, ha are, look a little bit bigger. And the numbers are kind of small. But, yeah. And real clear and easy to differentiate what's here and what's there. And if not, you can look it up on this lovely chart. You'll have to when you get ready to do all that back stitching because it's going to be a hot moment. All right, hang on. What did I do? Hang on. See, now I'm getting confused. Is this? Yeah, this is Joy Sunday. I can always tell it's Joy Sunday because they always put their needles in a plastic bag and attach it. But these are nice and long and easy to use. And being 14 count, it should be plenty thread. Okay. Oh, God, we're going to have a, an avalanche here in a minute. Stay. Stay. Okay. Hang on. And last but not least, this is my other one. Look at La Tigra. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, I waited forever for this. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's from DIY Cross Stitch. They call this Tiger Owl. I'm sorry. Didn't work. There's no owl in the picture. I don't know why. You know, some days you wonder who is packaging this all up. Comes with a beautiful picture. Just gorgeous. And it comes with, I'm trying to get it undone. Got mooshed. There's your pattern, which you would have to um, blow up. Which you can do on your own printer or at the library. Or if you... So lucky to have one a Kinko, isn't that what it's called? Kinkos, Kinkos. We don't have one. I don't live in a town. But if you did, you could blow it up. And this key right here, once again, is the absolute same as what's on the canvas. And the canvas is not surged, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And this one was three dollars. Three dollars, people. And it is a 36 by 46. Colors are... You have an escapee... Escapee poof ball. He got mooshed. Poof got mooshed. But there are three needles there. I'm going to set them right there. I don't know. I don't see the rest of the kit. It didn't fall out. Nope. We'll look at the canvas. It'd be interesting to see what his face looks like and, and that kind of thing. 
nice clear symbols same as on the the picture I don't know if the poof ball is the only thing that comes with that but I didn't see any other tool kit but we're gonna put that over here just so we don't lose it but lovely symbols this is an 11 count I believe yeah I'm trying <coughs> Dag nabbit. I've been talking too much today. Well, I'm trying. They's all wound up. New era of digital painting. Well, hmm. look at all these colors. There are 22 colors in this. But there are browns. Hang on. I'm trying to reach without avalanching everything. We have pale greens, pale grays, down to another gray. Different shades of green that go around the tiger. And lots of oranges and yellows to highlight him. Isn't he gorgeous? Just gorgeous. Just beautiful. Lots and lots of thread, though. Holy crap. It's a lot. And they're all that wound up here. Oh, put that up there. Put that up there. Let's look at that canvas some more. So it looks like his head is kind of confettied. And you have a little bit of confetti in the background. It has some 939, which is that yellow symbol. But it's not too bad. For 30, did I measure this? Oh, holy crap. Oh, it's in my lap. So this whole canvas is, the entire canvas size is 30, I'm trying. 14 and a half, which is almost 37 by, hang on, 46, so what did I say it was? So it's 46 by, it's, I swear, well, you, you've also got this uh, salvage, I can think what that was called, salvage over here on one side, so I don't know how far out they're going. When the counting it, they give you a little extra, so maybe an extra centimeter. But the whole picture itself is 10, 10 by, which is 36, 36, 36 by 25 and a half. So you lose about 10 centimeters because it has such wide margins but the the symbols are beautiful and big they're nice and big over here you have the DMC you have the color of the thread you're looking for and these are the numbers that correspond on your thread so yeah I think they are just absolutely beautiful and nice and easy to read just love it just absolutely and it's a doable size. It's not terribly big. I would have liked to have had a bigger size, but that's okay. It's just fine. It's beautiful. All right, and that is all I got from them. So I will have a picture of the peacocks because that's the only one that didn't have a, a good picture in there. And I will be back for us to start one. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you know, we have to start the tiger, please. He's my little spirit animal, I'm telling you. And they're not very little. But, yeah, I've always loved tigers. Should have been my, what do you call it, my Chinese animal. It's not. I'm a rooster. So, we are using 905. The reason I picked this is because... I was going to pick this blue, 
but the blue is 890 and you can see it is damn near at the same color as the green so we're going to do the green symbol first just to avoid complications here so let me tell you about hang on got to get everything organized about PVOVP store they have worldwide free shipping it says and they do cross stitch now when this this company um, approached me they had a diamond painting what do you call it website it was just particularly diamond painting and I said you know be really nice if you had cross stitch and so they sent me back the V P V O V P site and that's where I ordered so this site only has cross stitch and embroidery so and I have not checked out their their diamond painting one I don't know if it's a different store or not you know name or whatever I'm sure it's a different name because there's no diamond paintings on there so I ordered from this one and I got strictly diamond paintings I'll have a list of all the kits below in the description and right now they have up to 50% that I saw there might be higher uh, sale going on so their kits are all 50% off either 45 or 50 percent maybe some are even lower than 45 just didn't see that but the prices were were just phenomenal just phenomenal like this tiger was only three dollars for this size of a diamond i'm diamond paint this size of a cross stitch so you can get really good bargains there and a 50 by 50 was only five bucks and that was the lotus, you know, flower with the fish. Mm, like that, too. Mm. I like them all. That's half my problem. So let's get to stitching and see how this stitches up. And this is going to be a little tricky because these, the blue and the, the green are really close. But it's just kind of part of the leaves. Let me get you over here where you can actually see what's going on, what's happening. I'm so sorry. It's been a long day. Can you tell? Holy cow. I didn't go to bed until like 3 o'clock this morning. And didn't get up until almost 9.30. I was just a little tired, but too wired to go to sleep. I guess it was just too much coffee before I went to bed. I try to stop drinking coffee now and drink water say about nine o'clock on and it seemed to help usually so I don't know what's wrong with with me these days but we got most of the stress taken care of that's a blue see what I mean it's a little close in sizes or colors so I thought I'd get this done and then I could see actually where the blue part went were makes sense but it's an 11 count I'm using three strands and I just got one of the the needles out of the little kit and of course I get another needle threader I told you I found my my bag there was like 50 in here for a dollar and a half or some crazy thing I got them off of uh, Amazon best investment I've made in a while cheapest investment and I've had those probably two years it seems like at least except I did lose them for a period of time but it's not like I don't have six or eight on my desk as it is so okay back to to PVOVP um what else they also have embroidery um which are on well, you can make little pouches or little bags, you know, like hand baggy type size, you know, little pouches. Like you could keep coins in that are embroidered. I've never done one of those. I don't know how that all comes or if you have to put it all together. <laughs> that could be a hot moment. I could get the embroidery. I'll have to get some embroidery stuff. I haven't done embroidery in, God, 
probably 25 years if it was a day. Just guessing. But I really like cross stitch a lot better. It's a lot less hassle. I can do embroidery, but I choose to do uh, cross stitch. So much easier. And it's consistent. They also have embroidery done on the, uh, I call it silk fabric. That's not what it is. What is that stuff called? You know what I mean. On that silk uh, gauze type thing. Yeah, not happening for this girl. And they also have, uh, you can buy a tapestry, like to hang up on the wall. You don't have to do anything to it. You just hang it up. So just printed onto it. They call them tapestries. And you could hang them in various places. So they have those. But they have really good prices. And I was just really shocked. So that's why I got so many of them. Because I just spread it out as far as I could. And went for, went for it, you know. But lots of beautiful kits, and some I'll be passing on to you guys. So, look for that in the future. That's a blue. Okay. Yeah, you have to look really close on these. I picked, like, two of the worst colors to do at one time. But that's okay. Better to get it done. And see, now I can tell that those are blue symbols after I get this one. So, look at the colors of thread that those two symbols are and I picked the lighter of the two colors and that way it'll show up as to whatever you need to do for the other see what I mean I hope that made sense now somebody asked me about what kind of light I use I got this light at the thrift store I got lucky and it's just a, it has a little caddy around the outside of it, you know, what, that you could stick pens and pencils in and a little bitty organizer basket down at the bottom that's only about that big. And it has a gooseneck, um, gooseneck light to it so I can move it wherever I need to. And when I sit on the couch to do my other cross stitching, I have a large lamp. It's a floor lamp. And it has four arms that are gooseneck type. And they have the, the cone shape light, you know, that holds the light bulb inside. And so I can move that light wherever I need to. So I don't use any ot lights or anything like that. I have a so-called ot light. I never use it. It does have a, what do you call it? A mag uh, magnifier on it. But... I only get it out every so often if something is very small. I'm not real sure on the magnification size. Sometimes I'll use it for a 16 count if I can't see it. But so far, everything else I can see. I don't have a problem with seeing like up to 16 count ADA. So I use four, uh, 14 or 16 count ADA on that so but I, I wanted to address those couple of questions oh dear now I'm confused now we're doing the green shut up floor I almost forgot what I was doing you ever had that like blackout moment you know what am I doing I went to all the trouble to explain why I did what I did yeah and then I can't remember I'm telling you Alzheimer's is coming so let's do this while we can still remember what the heck we're stitching. But I do like 11 count. 11 count is my comfort zone. Because I can actually see what I'm doing. And it doesn't bother me. I don't have to get any special magnification out. It's just easy for me to stitch. Now, a lot of people like 14 count. That's fine. They have both. They also have, well, you saw, Joy Sunday kits. Um, it does not, 
what do you call it, specify the difference that just says cross stitch. They do have regular, I mean regular, let's try pre-stamped and counted cross stitch. And what else was it that they had? They have stocking kits that are new this year. And they also have some of the pillowcase kits. I believe most of them are in embroidery. Now, when I say embroidery, I'm talking, you know, satin stitch, outline stitch, that kind of thing. They don't have any that I saw. They may have. I just went through it briefly in between here. Uh, cross stitch or counted cross stitch pillowcases or anything like that. They do have um, linen bags that are printed. You know, that you let's say you want to go to the grocery store and get your groceries in a linen bag ish or one of those bags, you know, cloth bags. They have those with a picture printed on it so you can get them already done. They aren't anything you cross stitch on, and they also have the pillowcases like that as well. So they have a wide variety. They did not have any tools at all, so which I was kind of amazed at. That was one of the first places that I've gone to that didn't have, you know, an assortment of stitching tools of any kind. So they just deal with the kits. So you can get counted or pre-stamped there. And it does say that in the description. So when you're looking at it, be careful and read the description and read the, the line, the header line, you know, well to see if it says counted or pre-stamped. And for the most part, I think everything was done in um, cotton threads. I didn't see where you had a choice of silk or anything, you know. So I thought that was pretty good because that silk sucks. I'm sorry, people. I just can't handle it. They also have bookmarks that are done with the uh, silk gauze. I am so not going there because I truly don't think I I have two what do you call it, tight of a hand when I cross stitch because I'm used to doing it on this canvas and getting it to lay straight. I have to watch it sometimes on my 28 count. You know, I'll cinch it up too tight, but I'm used to stitching on this. So I think it takes a light hand. So if you're real light handed at stitching or embroidery, you know, cross stitching or embroidery, you might be okay. But it's just too fine and delicate. It's kind of like when you get to the the crochet and the, the doilies and crap. I can't do that either because I can't ever get it tight enough. I try to back it off and that, I just get too loose. So, oh well. It just wasn't meant to be, but I think they're beautiful. So I will just keep collecting my doilies that somebody else had the patience to make. I really want a huge tablecloth. Not that I have a tablecloth to put it on. But I would find a place to put it, honest. I would. I want one of the pineapple tablecloths. You know, like maybe a, what do you call it? Um, card table size? Yeah. I think it would look beautiful over the mirror. I don't care if it's round or square. Just don't care. I just love that pattern. Could never do it. But I got it there, but I did about half of it and psh, couldn't handle it. It was too loose. It just had no consistency. I could read the pattern just fine, carry right along, you know, but it just looked like hell because it wasn't tight enough and consistent enough. So I suppose after a while you might get used to it. I don't know. I was, when I was taught to crochet and knit, we used either acrylic yarn for the most part even on crocheting and I just can't use that I don't know what it's called it's like a cotton it reminds me of the pearl cotton you know it's that thick in consistency it probably isn't but you know what I mean I just can't crochet with anything that small all right so yeah they have some nice kits and Nice, nice embroidery. If you like embroidery, they have a lot of embroidery stuff. So, check them out.
and with 50% off, you can't go bad. And I believe there there might even be like buy so many and get one free. I didn't see that. It might be in the uh, oh what do you call it? In like when you get to get ready to check out. So check that out. It's awesome. But I will put the links for all the patterns and or all the projects, should say. And also a link to the store so you can check that out but it was kind of refreshing just to have a cross stitch or embroidery store you know it didn't have the dime you know like they're trying to do all the things you know they've got all the accessories in it so it helps you to focus you know on just what you like to do which is nice absolutely nice love it so I would go there and probably pile up on some more things I usually don't buy counter cross stitch kits but and I'm trying now to gather up diamond painting um, what do you call it crafts shall we call them because Lord knows I don't need no more diamond paintings I'll be like Miss Rachel Ray. She's selling off her, her diamond paintings. Because she's got way too many. I, I know that feeling. So. There's a lot of this green in here. This will probably be a longer video. But that's fine. I like stitching the products when I get them. Because I'm usually anxious to find out. What's the quality of the canvas? The canvas is very nice. What's the quality of thread? Thread is very soft, very nice, very easy to work with. I love that. And this is one of the cheaper kits. You know, it was only $2.99, guys. It was probably oh, a little under $10 when it was, you know, at original price. So that's a good thing. So they have really good prices. I like that. That means you just can get more stuff, right? Because God knows we need more stuff. I know. It is what it is. But I enjoy getting these kits and showing them to you. You know, so you can judge for yourself. You know, you can go there. Hey, it might not be for you. you know, or, hey, wow, I can get 10 kits for $30 or whatever, you know. Or whatever. But their their prices are very low and very reasonable and with free shipping everywhere worldwide that's a good deal these days awesome 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 I have to see where we're at here yeah we might be here a hot moment today I'm going to take this right over to my couch and work on it today hopefully now I noticed that the <coughs> excuse me the um tiger's face is kind of kind of what do you call it confettied but not too bad and the rest of it there's you've just got this one corner whoops oh, crap I dropped my scissors there's a little bit here and a little bit there that's confettied but otherwise these are big big hunks and there's maybe three or four in this background so that's not too bad the worst part is his face, you know, I mean, as far as getting it all done, because they have beautiful faces. Beautiful. I love tigers, especially Siberians. You just want to muzzle your face right in them. They're so gorgeous. Just love them. I'm trying to figure out where the green is. That's blue. That's, oh, I got one green right here. Well, of course, we'll go right there. It's a little difficult to see the blue and the green. So I'm going to take care of them first. And see where we go from there. And then we'll go, whoops. We'll go on to a, a different symbol. I had to put hand lotion on. My hands are a little slickery. They're not wet. They're just slick. It's a 
pretty color green. But I am anxious to see about its face. But it's going to take a hot moment more than one color, shall we say, to achieve that. So on the face, I will take one symbol, like all the reds, and I'll go all over in his head, let's call it, and finish that one thread. And then I'll go on to another color and finish it up and see how it all turns out. But it's only got 22 colors, so not too bad at all. It's not too many, and it's not too little. So hopefully it'll be, what do you call it? Uh, sh we'll call it shaded enough for you to tell what's going on. But I do like stitching tigers. I have a tiger face. It's buried somewhere. I think it's in my, what do you call it, tub of all my cross stitches. About January, February, I'll have to do another whip parade of all my cross stitches after all the dust settles from all this. Because I've probably gained another 20 cross stitches. But as we go, I'll be giving some away. So never fear. Hang right in there. I keep all of the ones I'm going to give away in a little pile. And each week I pull out a new one. And I'm going to try to write. I don't have one right here. On the, I'll just use this for an example. This is, let's say this is the bag that all came in. I will write who I got it from. And that way when I go and work on some of them, I will know at a glance. Because I have to order some more zip bags. I have come to the end of my my zip bags back there. So, and I can get them 30 at a time from Amazon. Love them. Those things make wonderful project bags. They're durable. I wouldn't say that they're waterproof. I wouldn't go that far. That's a blue. See what I mean? I have to get it towards the light or it can't see it. But so far, everything else looks a little bit lighter. Might have a few issues in the pinks section because see there's like orange and then there's, I'll call it salmon, and then that pink. So I'll go and I'll do all the oranges first, and then I'll do the that salmon color, not salmon, but it's like a bittersweet orange. So those, let's see, but I, I can actually see the ones that have like a symbol-ish on it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven that are just solid color blocks, and then the rest of them all have some kind of a symbol in it and they're very big and that's what I like about 11 count it's very easy to read let me pull it up just so you can see all right guys I think that's going to be it for today thank you for joining me for this unbagging and stitching on this beautiful tiger and do go check out pvovp.com I will have everything below and you can go and see what's going on. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. You have a great day. Keep stitching. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.